Welcome to week 8. This is the final week for the course Embedded System Design with ARM. In this week, uh, we'll be discussing about uh, accelerometer and uh, some of the experiments that we can do with this device. So, essentially uh, in the first lecture, which is this lecture, lecture 38, I will be discussing about uh, accelerometer what it is and uh, what is the principal operation of this accelerometer. Then in the subsequent next two lectures, uh, I will first discuss that how we can interface an accelerometer with the uh, STM board and how we can uh, receive the data. This is the first thing that I will show and then uh, I will show you some experiment where uh, the orientation of the device, we will find out what is the orientation of the device, whether the device is uh, uh, lying flat or it is vertically up or it is vertically down, etc, etc. So, these are the few things that we will be looking into with respect to accelerometer and uh, there is one more thing that we will look into in this week is uh, with gas sensor, an experiment with a gas sensor. So, let me talk about this accelerometer. In this uh, particular lecture, uh, I will be discussing the principle of operation of accelerometer and the accelerometer that I will be discussing, the features of the accelerometer that I will be discussing is ADXL335 accelerometer. So, what is an accelerometer? Uh, it is defined as a dynamic sensor that can measure acceleration in 1, 2 or 3 orthogonal axes that is x, y and z. And typically it is used in one of the three modes. It can be used as an inertial measurement of velocity and position. Uh, it can be also used as a sensor of inclination, tilt or orientation in 2 to 3 dimensions or it can also uh, used as a vibration or impact sensor, shock sensor that we say. Most of these accelerometers that are uh, developed, the d devices that are developed are based on micro electromechanical sensors called MEMS. So, it is based on this technology and this is based on displacement of a small mass that is etched into the silicon surface of the IC and suspended by small beams. So, we will look into further when we display the uh, working principle when we show the diagram it will be more clear. So, as an acceleration is applied uh, a force is developed we know that P equals to mass into acceleration that displaces the mass. So, this is the general concept of acceleration. The displacement of the mass uh, can be measured using capacitive sensing or piezoelectric effect sensing. So, these uh, displacement of this mass when it is moved from one point to another, it can be measured using either capacitive, capacitive sensing or through piezoelectric effect sensing. So, what it happens basically there is a change in capacitance or there is a generation of voltage through which it is uh, measured. The basic structure of the accelerometer consists of a fixed plate and a moving plate. And the acceleration deflects the moving mass and unbalances the differential capacitor that results in a sensor output voltage amplitude which is proportional to the acceleration. What does it mean? Basically, there is a moving mass. Okay. So, uh, this when acceleration we some acceleration is made then this deflects the moving mass 
and unbalances the differential capacitor. Okay. So, then uh, the in the two parts we will see that the moving mass th in one part it, it will come to the other side and the other part it will come little more to the other side. So, there is a imbalance in the mass. So, by measuring the acceleration along the x, y and z direction it is possible to calculate the inclination or the tilt. So, how much it is uh, tilted? Okay, we can accurately find out using the accelerometer. Uh, so, this can be done by measuring the acceleration along the x, y and z direction. It is also possible to calculate the angles of rotation along x, y and z axis which is called if it is along x axis it is called a roll, if it is along y axis it is called a pitch and if it is z axis it is the yaw ok. Now, this is like this here if we have these fixed plate ok. So, here here if you see we have fixed plate this one and this one and this here we have the moving mass and you see that whenever there is an acceleration this changes. So, this this particular yellow thing which is there it changes ok. So, based on which we can accurately find out whether it is tilted more towards x direction or y or z direction ok. So, this is the accelerometer sensor with MEMS mechanism. Now, the accelerometer that we will be using in this experiment is ADXL335 accelerometer, where you can see that uh, uh, this these are the pins of this accelerometer basically. You have uh, this VCC, we have this ground and we have x, y and z coordinate. So, this is uh, the, from the other side and this is from the other one. So, this arrow shows the x axis, this arrow shows the y direction and this one is the z one, z direction ok. So, the ADXL335 is a small thin and low power 3 axis accelerometer with signal conditioned voltage output. What it can do basically it can measure the static acceleration due to gravity in tilt sensing applications as well as dynamic acceleration resulting from motion shock or vibration ok. This we already discussed. So, this accelerometer can uh, will be able to uh, access I mean we, we can get the acceleration using this acceler accelerometer due to gravity uh, for applications uh, as well as for dynamic acceleration resulting from motion shock and vibration. This module measures acceleration within the range of plus minus 3 g in the x, y and z axis. When we connect this with STM, we will be seeing that we are mostly concerned about this x out, y out and z out. So, what essentially we have to do here? When we will connect, we will be connecting these x out, y out and z out to the analog port ok. So, the output signals of these are nothing but some analog signals. So, these are some analog voltages that are proportional to the acceleration ok. Now, the interfacing if you see which is fairly very straightforward, we have shown it using Arduino, uh, we have done the experiment uh, using STM uh, when we show you next. So, this is where it is connected to BCC, uh, this is connected to ground and this x, y and z is connected to pin A1, A2, A3 depending on where you connect. You can also connect to A0, A1 and A2. 
So, this is a very straightforward uh, connection diagram that we have. So, x out y out and uh, sorry this will be x out y out and z out are connected to the analog input pins. Okay. So, this is all about uh, this device accelerometer. So, next we will look into uh, how we can connect this accelerometer with STM board. We have already shown you the connection. Uh, so, how we can connect this and uh, we will see that uh, what value changes, what we get, what, what kind of values we receive from this accelerometer. Uh, from, the, from the x axis, y axis and z axis. So, we will look into that in the next lecture. Thank you.